And here, guys, another boring day, and I decided to give another try to the Saturn pinch rollers. I just replace it uh, the originals. You see, they harden it. So my main complaint, if you have watched my video here from yesterday, uh, it just doesn't like some particular tapes, like some 90 minutes tapes. It uh, starts from the good azimuth and then like pulls it to the side a little bit, just a little bit. I'm so tired of it. I check it up, hate, I check it up, angle, azimuth, everything with this hat looks fine. So the only reason left is pinch rollers. So let's see if it will help because I'm just like lost of options. Okay, let me assemble. Let's see how it will play now. See you soon. Okay, guys, and here we are recording. And it's minus 20 decibel, as you may see, and type 1 tape. And here is results. So, see, watch the needle and the oscilloscope. Okay, so it's 400 gears. Now it's 10 kilogears, 400 gears. Now it's 15 kilogears and 400 gears. Oh, 15 kilohertz and 400 gears here. 16, 17, 18 needles. 19, 20. And here you may see. 21, 22. One channel, a little bit drop on one decibel. 23, here we have drop, right? So minus three decibel is 23 kilogears, 400 gears on type one tape. Ooh -hoo. Nice, I like it. Ready to assemble. I just checked it the same song which was recorded on Akai, and now it plays well. It doesn't move. The tape and frequencies are all there. So you may check this light. So what I did, I put here and here white lights, but I painted them with the blue nail polish. And now they look really, really neat when they light. Everything is not too bright. Okay, I hope that would be it. See you soon. Bye-bye. I also decided to check uh, type 2 tape. So here we are recording. And here is uh, 400 gears. See the level. 10 kilogears, 400 gears. 15 kilogears, 400 gears. 16, 17. 18, 19, 20. It's tape artifacts when it drops on the level. 21, 22, uh, 23. On 23, it's, it drops. So it's 20, 15. Nice. I like what I see. What else I mentioned? So if you go to 15 kilohertz, you see how clean uh, waveform on this deck, right? And if uh, you remember the dragon, I was just fixing. We had seen much more bias left. So that's where the difference in the sound lies okay older decks like uh, had a much bigger coils to filter bias i seen like nakamichi 480 has a uh, 36 milli gallery and same with 1000 xl and this 680 has 23 milli gallery coil to filter the bias 
and uh, all later decks, including the X7, Dragon, uh, later generation has just 10 mimic entry. So, uh, from one side, when you're listening to the modern decks, you can hear better high frequencies, right? So the coil will pass through more high frequencies, plus those bias noise like, uh, may provide some additional. Um, when you listen to these decks, they sound very natural, musical, because uh, they uh, produce a clean sinusoidal signal. So that's the difference. And only my 9100 Akai and Sony decks, those decks has no coils at all to filter the bias. So the filter is done differently. Right? That's why they sound like the most clear. But I like how 680 sounds, it's very musical. And I believe mostly because of the coils. I had one thoughts about conduct experiment. I have coils from Nakamichi 482. I believe it's 26 milligenry. I, I will try to install them into my DR2 and listen if, we'll, it, if it will improve the sound and it will start a sound like Nakamichi 680. Because schematically, I didn't find any other differences between 680 and later generations. Okay, even like 682, it already has a 10.5 milligenry recoil, and it sounds clearly more brighter than 680. 680, from from one point, it may sound a little bit muddy, but uh, it's very musical. Okay. Thank you. See you.